two hours from now, we'll start finding out if Indiana's own Addison Agan will win The Voice. The Fort Wayne teenager spoke less than an hour ago with our Julia Moffat, who joins us live in Hollywood. How's she doing? Is she nervous, Julia? No, cool as a cucumber. It is amazing, but it really is exciting around here. All of the finalists have either been here or still doing. Brooke Simpson, by the way, she had the number one holiday song on iTunes last night, All Holy Night, which was amazing, by the way. But yes, then we talked to Addison earlier about a half an hour ago. She was so excited to wake up to know for the very first time in this competition, she finally had a song that hit number one on iTunes. That was Tennessee Rain. Oh my gosh, it was a tear Jerker was an emotional performance. It was beautiful. She said that uh, her coach, Adam Levine, texted her right away and said, you go, girl. You did it. We're doing this. We're going to win this. I talked to her. I said, so how do you expect your life to change if you do win tonight? How do you think your life is going to change if it is you tonight? Uh, it's already changed so much, but having a record deal that is really dedicated and knows what you want to do because I've shown them this whole journey, showing them what I am and who I am and what I want to do with my career. So that, that'll be amazing. And I haven't even gone home yet to see what my hometown's like, but I know that's going to be such a fun time. And they are having a very fun time there in Fort Wayne. They've been having Addison Egan viewing parties, so the support obviously all the way there in Indianapolis, all over Indiana. It is promising to be really one of the most star-studded shows, a finale for The Voice that they've had. Sia, Vince Gill, Demi Lovato, um, even a future voice coach, Kelly Clarkson, all performing tonight. Addison is really excited because she is doing a duet with one of her all-time favorites, Nora Jones. She says, I grew up listening to her. I can't believe I'm doing doing a duet with her. So you'll look for that in tonight's show. I once again am fortunate enough to be in the audience to watch it all for nice. that crowning, you guys. I cannot believe it. I'm so excited. <laughs> all right, so whoever wins tonight, what will the next few days be like for that person? Uh, two full days of press here in L.A. I mean, that's all they're going to be doing. Uh, we do know that Addison, regardless of whether she wins, she's like, I've got a ticket home. I get to go home after six months of this, you can imagine. Um, but they get a record deal. I mean, she's 16 years old. Can you imagine if she's crowned the voice tonight? But one of the other new things is there is a live voice show in Las Vegas. Whoever wins tonight, whoever's crowned, has a spot on that show in Las Vegas. So pretty cool. That is very cool. Uh, all right. Thanks, Julia. We wish her all the best tonight. Yeah. Julia will have coverage for us. Yeah. We're now less than two hours away from the start of that show, so make sure to watch 8 o'clock right here on Channel 13 for this big finale.